hi there viewers welcome to stem progress and in this video we're going to talk about the top five programming languages for electrical and electronics engineers so once my lecturer for digital electronics told me that unlike computer scientists who are in most cases software engineers or software programmers uh, electric and electronics engineers are in many cases hardware engineers or hardware programmers so these uh, programming languages are going to help you to program the hardware or at most program very close to the hardware. So let's get started. On number five, we have Python programming language. So Python is really a powerful language, easy to understand, easy to use, and you can really achieve a lot with this programming language. It's used in artificial intelligence and in machine learning, and you can use it to quickly make programs that you can use in your testing and automation. Suppose you come up with some program that you really want to try out as quick as possible, and you can't find a software out there in which you can test it, you can easily and quickly write a, uh, a program in Python that is going to help you achieve that task. Uh, you can do the same in other languages, but probably it will take you more. Python really makes work very easy and you achieve more uh, with less code. You can also do use it to work with databases, e.g. SQLite and other things. So Python is really, really a powerful and good language for electric and electronics engineers. So on number four, we have uh, VHDL. So this one is a hardware description language. And VHDL is really, really powerful. Again, it's used in modeling and simulating uh, your circuits before you can fabricate them. So suppose you come up with a design as an electrical engineer. So to test it before you, you put it on the board, before you fabricate it, you can use uh, VHDL and, and test it. Then if it's working properly, then you can send it to technician and other companies who can fabricate it. So really, this is a powerful, powerful language that is going to help you uh, do your work very fast, do your work efficiently, and it's, it's very helpful to work directly with the hardware. So to help you program the FPJs, uh, integrated circuits, hardware programming language is really, really a nice language for you. So on number four, we have VHDL. On number three, we have yeah, as expected, the C++ programming language. So this is really, really a very powerful language. I think one of the most used language among engineers, uh, electric and electronics to be more specific, and it can be used for a large amount of things. Really, the sky is the limit to what you can do with this programming language. It's used in designing systems like operating systems, uh, Linux, uh, Windows OS, uh, even Mac OS, I'm sure we are designed in C and C++, and it can be used to design co uh, compilers, libraries, you can work with embedded systems. These are systems that you can integrate in washing machines, in printers, in vehicles, in cameras, in industrial machines. Uh, it can be used in robotics, in predictive maintenance, where you, you, you program something that uh, predicts at the time in which you have to maintain. So maybe you have uh, uh, signals and, and indicators that are going to help you to know that this is the time for maintenance. So this program is right good for that. It works very close to the hardware, and it can also be used to program microprocessors, uh, integrated circuits, do signal processing, and simulate electrical engineering processes and faults. It's used widely in wireless communications, in telecommunication, and so on. So C++ is really, really a powerful language that as an electrical engineer uh, would be a great asset to learn. So that is on number three. On uh, number two, we have the C programming language. So C programming language is more close to the hardware than C++ is, uh, but you, what you can achieve mostly with this language, you can also achieve with C++. Mostly the users are complementary, uh, but this one goes much deeper in the hardware than C goes. So it's really a powerful language again. Uh, operating systems, compilers, embedded systems, in robotics, in control systems, artificial intelligence, 
in telecommunications. Uh, this programming language is used a lot. So as an electrical engineer, this would be a great asset to have and a great asset to help you work efficiently. So on number two, we have the C programming language. And finally, on number one, we have MATLAB. Uh, that's it. We have MATLAB. So MATLAB is really a powerful language. It contains algorithm growth, modeling, data acquisition, simulations, prototyping, exploration, data analysis, visualization, application development, scientific paths, uh, engineering graphics. It comprises a really easy to understand uh, graphical user interface for constructing all these that we can see on the screen. So it's used a lot in digital signal processing, in signals and systems, in control systems, image processing, and computer vision in data analytics, and also uh, you can use it for uh, mathematical problems. So to help you achieve uh, your task quickly, to help you do your computations very easily, MATLAB is really a powerful language for electrical engineers, and it can, it can really make your work as an engineer very, very easy. And indeed, there's, there's hardly a limitation to what you can achieve with this program. Your own, your, own, your own limitation as far as MATLAB is concerned. So these are the five programming languages that electric and electrical en uh, uh, electronics engineers that uh, need to know. Of course, you don't have to know a lot, all of them. Mm, two would be okay, even just one. And if you are to learn only one, I would advise that you do uh, MATLAB because it's going to work, uh, it's going to help you look much smarter uh, work smarter and do achieve a lot of things in really short time. It's really, really a powerful language. So number one, we have MATLAB. We have C programming language, C++. We have Python. And so you may choose just to then one of them uh, or two or even all of them if you have all the time. But uh, believe me, if you just learn any one of these languages, it can go a long way in helping you to be an effective engineer and make an impact in your field. So these are the programming languages that we had for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe to this channel, and also hit the bell so that whenever a new video is released, you can be notified. If you have questions, you can leave the, uh, a comment in the comment section below, and I'll be very prompt to reply to them. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.